Hey YouTube, it's Afro Neek and I'm back. Did you miss me? Alright, so you probably didn't know I was gone anywhere. I had wanted to come on here and do a video, let you know I was about to roll out of town, but didn't have time for all that. It's very hard packing when you also have a nine month old that's teething and then she's going with you, so you gotta take all her stuff with you too. So it's a lot of work. So anyway, I was gone. I was in Philadelphia at the LOCK conference, and so I'll tell you about that experience and show you what I bought. So, um, let's see, LOCK conference in Philadelphia. So, let's talk about classes. So, I really didn't get to attend any classes. Um, like I said, I had my nine-month-old daughter with me. And so, um, the one class I got to kind of sit in for like a few minutes, she wanted to talk through the class, so I went ahead and hit the exit, because I wanted everybody else to be, able to, be, to be able to hear and learn something. So, um, yeah. Next um, hair conference, um, my husband will be having some father and daughter time, so I can go and get my learn on. Okay. So, and then, let's see, so the class I did sit in on for like five minutes or so was the Kafile method, and um, what he does is, it's a method that um, he learned, and I guess once you learn how to do the method, you can put your name on it and call it your own once you've mastered it. And so, it's another way of grooming your locks that involves um, using a comb. So I just got to see him do it a few times. I didn't get a chance to actually hear it stay and hear the explanation of how he does it. But um, you just kind of see him. He takes a comb at the root and he like twists the lock. And then so like the hair and his hair is being wrapped around the lock. And then like he twists the whole lock when he's, as he's working his way down the lock and applying the product through the whole lock. And like his thing was that um, you can't just, service the new growth, you have to service the whole lock, give the whole lock some love, and then that the method that he uses actually strengthens the lock by using the new growth hair. So I would have liked to learn more about it, but like I said, I had to go ahead and get the exit on that one. But um, other than that, they had just a few more. Um, they didn't really have a lot of um, hair classes because they kind of split the classes between lock topics, holistic health stuff, they had like a room where they were doing like poetry stuff, they had a children's circle where they were doing like music and dancing. So um, well, there wasn't a lot of lock, lock classes, but um, like I said, the kind of the few that I did want to kind of jump in on just didn't work, you know, with nap times and all that other stuff, it just wasn't happening. So unfortunately, I didn't learn anything, which was disappointing, but I did get a lot of stuff, though. I did get my shop on. So let me show you what I got, because I did get some pretty cool things. So uh, let's see. One thing I got is I got crinkles and curls. Show you labels and curls. So no, it's um, by Taija Talia Waji. And um, it's supposed to be good for holding in your sets for like your curl sets, braid out, twist out, and all that good stuff. And it's also supposed to cut down on the drying time on your on your hair, on your locks. So I've been wanting to get this and um, looking at it online. I was going to order it and it's going to cost me like $20 by the time you put shipping and handling on it. But I was able to get this at the show for 8 bucks, So uh, that was cool. So I get to try it out. Because I guess since my hair is maturing, I can't just use water anymore. Because I'm not a big product junkie. So I was able to just put water in my hair and, you know, twist it, roll it, whatever, and it would stay pretty good. But now it doesn't do that. So um, this is supposed to do it, do this good stuff about buildup. So we'll see what happens. And let's see. I got my stuff all laid out over here, and I got my little business cards out so I know who I bought it from and whatnot. But this, I don't know who I bought it from. I got the um the card that's just, you know, Tala Tala Wahich. Dang, I can't pronounce it. Y'all know how to pronounce it because I, I can't I'm not getting it right now. I'm so, I'm sorry. But um I'm pretty sure that's not who I bought it from. But um yeah. Okay, moving on. So the next thing I bought was from um 
I bought it from Cosmic Care, but it's a chemistry product, and it's um, black soap, and it has the smell of tea tree. And I got this for my face. Um, I use black soap for my face, and I'm about to run out, so I just wanted to get some more of this. So this is my first time getting it from them. So um, they had it. I was like, let me try it and see what's up. So, oh, uh, and then everybody I'm listing, I will put all that information in the box below. So like I said, I got this from Cosmic Care Day Spa, and they're out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And then, let's see, another product I got, but I actually, sorry, I was off the camera. But um, another product I got, but I actually did not get at the conference, I went to a flea market also while I was down there, and I actually um, got a sample of this at the flea market, but she let me know that she was also selling it at the conference, and I guess somehow I missed that table or something, I'm not sure. But um, it's from Skin Deep Organic, and um, she just gave me a little sample of it, let me open it up for you. So you can see that. And so this stuff is supposed to be like good for pretty much anything. And so, um, let's see. It says, I'm just reading something off the little flyer. It says, rejuvenate your body from head to toe with skin deep all natural body butter. And so this is supposed to be good for aches and pains. Men can use it on their beards. That's they can use it after sh for aftershave moisturizing cream. You can use this on your babies. They say it's good for rashes, skin irritation, blemishes, pimples, dry skin, dry hair, stretch marks, stops itching. Good for your hair, your feet, eczema, poison ivy. So, um, yeah, she gave me a sample of it. And I have eczema on my hand, and so that's what I've been using it on to kind of see um, if it works. And then if it does work, I'm going to go ahead and order it. Um, go ahead and order it, yeah, from the website. So we'll see what happens. Because um, I have some bad eczema. I don't even think I want to show it. But sometimes if you look at my hands when I'm showing you how to do a video and you see like a really dark spot on my hand, yeah, that's eczema. So yeah. That's what I got that for. And then this, I got some cool hair things. So these, you can see that. I got a smaller one and a bigger one, so I could put them both in my hair at the same time. Um, they're not in my hair right now, obviously, and I will post the picture of the style I did while I was gone and had them both in there. So you can check it out. And um, I got this from Unique Designs in Leather by Vernell Jordan, and she's out of Boston, Massachusetts, and she doesn't have a website or anything, unfortunately, for you, um, but I will leave her phone number down at the bottom, and maybe you can get some information from her on how to get it. Maybe she can, I think she's kind of starting out as far as selling stuff, so she hasn't gotten that far yet. But it's really cool, the hair thing, to kind of hold up your hair. And I'm looking for different ways to be able to put my hair up and have stuff in it because I have to wear my hair up with the little one. So I was very happy to be able to get that because it's pretty cute. And um, I also got me another lock sock. So I got another one of those to um, wear as a headband or to also um, cover up my hair while I'm around the house so I can um, keep stuff out of it. And let me see, what else did I get? Oh, I got these earrings that I'm wearing. Let me see, zoom in on that. Okay, so I got those from from Adoja's Cultural Gifts. And I'm not sure where she is based out of, and she also does not have a website, but I will leave her phone number and email in the box below. And so I got these. These are I thought these were cute. It's the um, symbol for, um, oh, shoot, I'm just not with it right now. I can't think of it right now. Dang it. Okay, sorry about that. 